Hello and welcome. Today's project was born out of a problem we ran into when our son needed a new winter jacket and the only styles he seemed to like were all black in color and I thought that was terribly unsafe given our long dark winters. So I decided to attach some reflective tape to the jacket. I took a walk down the trims aisle at Fabricville and I found a couple of options. This is a 3M product. It's bonded, which means that it doesn't fray or ravel when you cut it. These incorporate both alert colors as well as the reflective tape. So they give visibility both daytime and nighttime. I like the way that his jacket turned out so much that I decided to do mine as well. Well, here it is. This is a no-sew option, a zipper pull. All it is is a strip of the reflective fabric that's knotted onto the zipper pull. Here I used a folded rectangle of the fabric and used a running stitch to attach it to the existing brand tag. The armband is a simple sewing project. There's an elastic component so you can slide it on and off your jacket from jacket to jacket depending on the weather. I have some other ideas too. Let's get started. The first project, the zipper pull, requires a strip of the reflective fabric that's about five inches long and a quarter inch wide. I'm going to attach this for demonstration purposes to my purse. All you do is you make a loop at the top middle of the strip and you flip the ends under and through and that creates a knot and that's enough to keep this attached to your zipper or in this case the hardware of my purse. Just make sure that the reflective side ends up right side up. I also decided to make a loop of the tape that I could slide onto the strap of my purse and for that I used fabric glue and a strip about three inches long and half an inch wide. And while the glue was setting up, I used a clothespin to keep the loop in place. You could always use hot glue for that as well. Then I thought about dog walkers. A friend of mine wanted to attach reflective tape to her dog's leash. So I decided to make a different type of tube there. And for that, I used this wider tape and I cut three inches worth and I ended up gluing it the same way as the other one. This does ravel on the fabric portion, so you can hit that with a little bit of fray check. And you can use fabric glue or hot glue, again using the clothespins to keep it in place while the glue sets up. This is what you end up with, and you can slide it right onto the leash, or if you would prefer, you can actually hot glue a strip of the reflective tape right to the dog leash. Then I thought about the armband being portable because I wanted to move it from my winter to my spring jacket. And this is a little sewing project. As I mentioned, you start off with a one inch strip of the reflective tape, nine inches long. You need a three inch piece of three quarter inch elastic and a piece of fabric that's nine and a half inches by two and a quarter. Prepare the fabric by turning in the ends a quarter inch Find the center of the strip by folding in half and pressing. Then open it out and press each side toward the center. And that basically prepares your piece for stitching. You put the non-raveling reflective strip on top and you run a line of top stitching from one end to the other. Insert the piece of elastic in the opening, go over it several times, and then continue top stitching down the other side. At this point, you have to take the project out of the sewing machine because you have to flip the elastic around to the other end that isn't yet sewn. Insert the elastic there and go over that join several times to secure the elastic. Then you just slide this onto your arm, or if you're a jocker, Maybe you'd prefer to have this around your ankle. However you choose to add reflective tape to your winter wear, keep your family safe. Qualité meilleure
Surprise